Hey guys, in this video, I'm just going to show you how I was able to copy and paste values when filters applied in Microsoft Excel. So I was working on a number of sites, and let's say here, um, this is the site IDs and the current site IDs, and I have a new list of Set IDs. So basically, I wanted to to filter to filter all the sites that have been renewed. So meaning um, meaning the sites that you know the users will continue to use in the future. So I have this data here. Say I have this data here, and I have uh, the side ID here, and and later on I found out that these list, I mean these side IDs, are not updated anymore, and I need to copy the new side IDs from column C to uh, column B. I mean copy and paste these values in column C into column B. So if I just copy it, I mean these values normally just control C and then paste it into control B. That works correctly, but uh, that's not I want that's not what I wanted to see. Let me see. I mean to show you. Ah yeah, that this is not a good example. <clears throat> Let, let's see I was trying to test this earlier and it works fine now. So what I can do is, let's say the number is, let's say, I don't know, 51. Yeah. So yeah, the, uh, they have the same values, right? So trying to modify the values in column C so that I can show you how we can easily copy when, I mean, copy and paste values when filter is applied. Let's say, let me do that again. So if I just copy this and paste it here in column B, that works fine. Hold on. That's not, uh, that's not correct. Let me see. Try to, I think Excel is recognizing that I think it's because of the sequential numbers but uh, let me try to make the the numbers not sequential okay so apply the filter again so yes all that side these are the sites that are being renewed so if I just copy and paste this, it works fine. Okay, interesting. Let me try this one. Before it wasn't working. Uh, it works fine. Okay, maybe I need to I need to make this list longer. Let me try that because I think Excel recognizes that what I'm trying to do so. Let's say you have a long list, right? Long, long list of sites. Let me see. Let me try to do it again. Let's try to add new numbers. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna filter for the sites that are not being renewed and just copy, I mean control C from this new site, new site ID into this. Yeah, so it's not working. This is what I wanted to show you. So if you can just I mean if you just, if you just copy these values and paste it in column B like that, it doesn't work. 
So what you can do is actually you have to control C and then hold the control key down, then go to home. And then in this case, I'm trying to copy the values in column C into column B. So I would, I mean, I will select left. Yeah, that's how you correctly do it. Okay, I'm gonna control Z. So what if you have a scenario where the values that you have is not in the same table? So like say you have values, let me see, let me count this. So you have 13, make this say 61. And try to make the same number. Yeah. So if I do this, let me try it. If it's gonna work, yeah, it's not working. It's not working by just Control C and then paste it here. It's not working. So what you can do is actually highlight these cells, say yellow, and then remove the filter and right click on one of the cells that is highlighted and select put selected cell color on top and all the uh, selected i mean the cells that are highlighted in yellow in this case will be on top so what you can do is copy this just control c and paste it like that so control v so that's how you correctly copy and paste values when the values are from a different uh, sheet in this example, or it also works from, let's say, same sheet, but different uh, column, for example. So that's uh, what I wanted to show you in this uh, video. Hopefully you find this useful. If you have, uh, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.